Western University, uh, one of the oldest universities in Canada, was founded in 1878 and the medical school shortly thereafter in 1881. So it is a, an established uh, and reputable university that's been around for a long time in Canada. I've been involved in working with First Nations communities for 30 years now. And it started in the early days when I was uh, working in a remote area in Canada responsible for care delivery to 30 fly-in reserves. Uh, and at that time, recognized through my public health background and training that there was an epidemic of a new disease, a chronic disease called diabetes. Uh, that led to a series of projects and collaborations with communities in that region, uh, expanded to uh, national projects, uh, and partnering also with the federal and provincial governments uh, across the country over the last 20 years uh, to help better understand what is the problem with diabetes, why is it happening in these communities, but failing to really change the outcome of uh, diabetes in these communities. So this led to the uh, funding and establishment of our research program called Forge Ahead, which is a unique and innovative program intended to change the way uh, care is delivered following a chronic disease model in First Nations communities specific to diabetes and taking advantage of the existing resources that they have for diabetes prevention and clinical care delivery, but to do it in a new way. It's a five-year program that works directly with communities. It's a very comprehensive program. It incorporates 10 research projects and builds off years of work that I know that I've done with Dr. Harris and that he's done even preceding myself, the lessons learned and the successes and the strengths within the communities. It involves clinical and community readiness consultations that really highlight the strengths in the communities and the gaps in the communities that they could potentially use to redesign care. It involves diabetes registries and surveillance systems and quality improvement initiatives that they develop at the grassroots level and it involves cost analysis and scale-up toolkits. So the overall goal is to use those scale-up toolkits and adapt and expand it to address all a host of other chronic diseases right across Indigenous communities all across Canada. One of the things that we are most proud about in this program is the collaborative nature and partnership that we have with our First Nations. Communities over the years have complained that there's been lots of research done on them, but not with them. It is absolutely key to have respectful partners involving First Nations so that they have a sense of ownership and pride uh, in, the, in the projects that are going on. We've got 12 communities across Canada. We have Indigenous and non-Indigenous organizations. We have government and policy partners and we have the leaders from a diverse, diverse um, academic background helping us implement Forge Ahead. So I think one of the biggest strengths of Forge Ahead and one of the biggest strengths that we, that our team has, is the national network. It's a very strong multidisciplinary team. Forge Ahead is adapted and is using the uh, OCAP guidelines which were originally created by the National Aboriginal Health Organization and now nest with the First Nations Information Governance Centre. And uh, OCAP is the ownership, control, access and possession of data. It's vital that this project keeps the OCAP guidelines in the forefront because it's such an empowering opportunity for communities uh, to be responsible for the data that's gathered from this experience because, because that, beca that is knowledge and it becomes knowledge for the community to use and it becomes then an empowerment tool for the communities. One of the strengths of the Forge Ahead research program is that from the beginning we have involved policymakers as partners in the development and implementation of the Forge Ahead study. When we hope to scale up the Forge Ahead program across the country to all 618 First Nations communities, we need to have partnerships with policymakers. This has to become policy. We are confident that the Forge Ahead program will absolutely change the direction of this epidemic and finally stem the tide of the terrible outcome that uh, our First Nations people in Canada are currently experiencing.